Hey there, it's Sonia Miller, coach, speaker, and author, and I help people to receive their fulfillment by unlearning struggle. And today we're going to explore how to unlearn struggle to receive a fulfilling, committed relationship. I thought a good place to start would be to read a um, share from this, a student in my receive course because I asked, what is it that you want to receive and where do you struggle? So this was what she wrote. I'd like to receive a committed relationship that fully embraces my quirks and feminine unpredictability that makes me feel safe, beautiful, and wanted regardless. So I think that today the point that I really want to highlight, the teaching point that contributes to struggle is that we look at relationships as something outside of ourselves. We're focused on the other person. We're focused on finding the one. Um, it's very outer focused. And the truth is that in my orbit at Success for the Soul, we always root ourselves in the fundamental principle that your consciousness creates your reality. Everything that you experience, everything in your outer world, everything that you manifest is always going to begin first in consciousness. Your consciousness creates your reality. And the uh, root of struggle, uh, how I've been teaching it, is that it's based in two things. Habit and incorrect or missing information. So the struggle that um, most of us are talking about, at least when I'm teaching receiving easily, it's important to understand that there's a certain amount of struggle that's natural in life. You know, the baby being born and the mom, there's some struggle in that. Uh, the butterfly coming out of the cocoon, there's some struggle in that. But there's a whole other level of struggle that is absolutely learned. And we unlearn it by looking at our habits and the information that we base um, our decisions about how to approach our fulfillment. Okay, so the first thing is the habit. The habit is that we over rely on what I call a masculine model of power. And when I talk about masculine and feminine, I don't, I'm not talking about gender or sexuality. I'm talking about energies and ways of being. And the masculine model values performance. It's all about thinking, pursuing, doing, taking action, analyzing, conquering, hunting, a um, whole lot of outer world focus from thoughts into physical reality. The feminine model of power values presence. It's the inner world, the invisible world of feeling and experiencing and intuiting and sensing and uh, everything that everything that happens in the invisible world okay so the first uh, element of habit is that we over rely on the masculine model it doesn't mean you get rid of it it's beautiful and powerful and necessary it has its place but we over rely on it because it's been a habit we've been rewarded for it there's a lot of uh, acknowledgement for how smart we are and all that we do and and you know all, the, all of the activity and the action and we also have incorrect and missing information, okay? So the missing information is a lot of us have very little idea about the sheer and utter power of being, of presence, of the feminine. And the feminine model of manifestation, instead of focusing on thinking and hunting and doing and figuring out and analyzing, is all about states of being the power of being. And in that state of being, the power of being, where it's the opposite of thinking, it's the opposite of doing. Okay, so the feminine model receives everything that arises in its inner world, in its feeling state, in its experience. Receives, receives, receives. It's mysterious. It's invisible. Only you know what's going on because other people can't, can't, say what it is that you're feeling only you know right so it's it's all about receiving what arises in your inner world and through that things are revealed and revealed and revealed so the manifestation is a revealing rather than a conquering okay so when we turn into our inner world when it comes to relationships we start to root ourselves in this idea 
this concept that if our consciousness creates a reality, then how I am in relationship with myself is going to be reflected in my outer relationships. Okay, so this student that wrote in said, I want a committed relationship that fully embraces my quirks and feminine unpredictability that makes me feel safe, beautiful, and wanted. So her opportunity is to look at how am I in a committed relationship with myself? Am I committed to myself? Do I choose myself? Do I embrace my own quirks and feminine unpredictability? Or do I abandon myself? Do I choose somebody else over myself? Do I make myself feel safe? Do I make myself feel beautiful and wanted in how I receive myself? Or do I judge myself? Do I devalue myself? Do I ignore myself? Do I, uh, do I disconnect from my, my value and my worthiness and my beauty? Do I judge it? Do I think I have to be more or better or perfect? Or do I embrace my quirkiness? So our outer relationships are always going to be a reflection of our relationship with ourselves, our inner relationship. And the more we can practice relating to ourselves the way we would like somebody else to relate to us, then we start to have the consciousness that creates that reality in our outer world. Okay? So I hope this is helpful. If you want to receive a committed, fulfilling relationship, then notice every time you are looking outside yourself, notice what you're seeking and ask yourself, how is that a reflection of my relationship with me? And how can I bring those qualities to myself? Then redirect your attention from doing, stopping all that struggle, to being present with you and seeing how you can choose yourself, be committed to yourself, have a loving relationship with yourself, every aspect of yourself. In other words, treat yourself the way you want to be treated by another person. And if you struggle with that, then at least you know that you're focusing in the correct place and you can receive that struggle and invite clarity and awareness about where you can go in really having a fulfilling, whole, joyful relationship with yourself. It always begins there and then it's, it's reflected in your outer world. So I hope this is helpful. If you liked it, please like, share, and subscribe. It helps me reach the people that I'm here to serve. And if you want to go deeper with this, so it isn't just words and an idea, but you really get to explore how to integrate this into your life, how to embody it, how to actually experience receiving fulfillment, then check out my free training at receiveclass.com. It will give you everything you need to know to really understand how this all works. And the class is focused on helping you identify three hard work habits you must unlearn to release struggle and welcome your fulfillment with ease. So thanks for being here and I'll check you out on the next video or you'll check me out. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye.